region have just come back down to earth quite literally after setting a new world record. They did it together because they set their sights on the hang gliding tandem flight world altitude record. Yeah. yeah it's fantastic that I get vertigo. Uh, or to put it more simply, they actually shared a single hang glider and then descended from an altitude of 16,800 feet. In a moment, we'll be chatting to the pilot, Judy Layden from Derbyshire, well famous pilot, and her fellow high flyer, Lucy Armour from Bradford. First, Alan Hardwick reports on their record break breaking flight. The big problem with hang gliders is they can't get airborne under their own power. So, on this occasion, two hot air balloons were brought in to give the women a lift above the clouds. Judy is one of the world's top hang glider pilots. But before practicing for this ascent, Lucy, who's registered blind, had only ever been aloft once before, and that was with an instructor. The plan was to hitch a lift with the balloons and then, at a height that put them well above the existing record, the webbing rope that was their temporary lifeline would be cut. That was the plan, and it worked, nearly 17,000 feet above the Y Valley. And the two women, watched by cameras from the BBC's Record Breakers programme, spent the next 45 minutes making a leisurely descent. Indeed, she has. Alan Hardwick reporting, and the two record break breakers, Judy Ledden and Lucy Armour, have joined us in the studio. Um, first of all, it's a bit surreal, isn't it? A sort of big apple and a big strawberry, 16,800 feet in the air. Where did the idea come from? Um, well, it was really record breakers phoned up and said, Can you think of a record to break because we want to film you? So. I thought of the, the tandem record and Lucy had phoned me just a month earlier enthusing about her flight that she'd made in Yorkshire saying if ever you want a passenger, if ever you want to go tandem, please call. So I called her saying, well, I'll take you, but there's a catch. A, we're going up under a hot air balloon to 18,000 feet and we're going to go and break a world record. And uh, she leapt at it. So. That was the story. I mean, Lucy, you, you know, you're partially sighted. I mean, we'd think it, you'd be absolutely crackers in any way. But people must have said, oh, no, this one's just too high, just one too many. Didn't people say to you, don't do it? No one said don't do it, but they all said, you're absolutely mad. <laughs> and uh, the, the most enthusiastic person was my dad, who's a keen paraglider pilot. He was just saying, oh, go for it. This is brilliant. I wish it was me. <laughs> I mean, the nice thing is you can see some movement. If we just look at some of the pictures of, uh, here, it just looks amazing, that cloud formation, and we can see the glider coming underneath then. What could you see? Could you, could you make out the houses and the fields, etc.? I could make them out when we were fairly low. When we'd broken through the clouds, mm. uh, the cloud base was quite low. I, I could see uh, little tiny houses and fields. Uh, I saw a, a, a ploughed field where the, the harvester had only got halfway round, and that looked amazing. But uh, I could see much less detail than most people, but I could still get the real feel for how high it was. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, how does it feel? Because you won't get me up there in a million years. Let, you won't get me 5,000 feet, let alone 18. How does it feel? Absolutely amazing. Uh, going up was very, very uncomfortable because the, the glider was pointing nose down 45 degrees. Oh, right, All the bizarre. blood was rushing to our heads. We <laughs> were aching, we were hanging on to bits of the glider to stop ourselves sliding forward. But as soon as we had dropped um, and we were flying, it was the most amazing feeling. Judy, I just get the feeling we'll see you very soon with yet another record-breaking attempt. So we'll say, see you later then. Well, not yet a while, because I've got a baby on the way. That's my last oh, well. stunt before February. Maybe in a few months. Good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> OK, cheers. Can we make another tandem jump? Well, <laughs> <a> triple, actually. <laughs> well, first triple jump. Now then, back 